Hi ladies, this is Diane Cisneros again. I'm doing my second video uh, for the series called Diane Will Teach Me That. Uh, earlier, on the previous video, I, I had made this box and we ended up with just the bare box and the ribbon. And now I'm going to teach you how to make the design on the top. Now this is going to start with, um, I'm going to use a piece of vanilla cardstock and then I'm going to run it through uh, this embossing folder and this is called uh, Lacy Brocade and this was in the Christmas uh, no excuse me it was in the Christmas originally the Christmas catalog but now it's in our spring catalog so it is still available and I will post that uh, number for you but I First, cut out a big square. I ran it through the lacy brocade folder. Then I took one, two, three, the fourth one in, and I ran it through the big shot. Now, I, I don't know why, but I just like to uh, put the uh, embossing on it first and then run it through the framelits. And these framelits are called Window Frames Collection. Okay? So, that's how I got this and then I'm going to take some um, uh, what is this early espresso and a little uh, oh, I can't even think of what this is but I'm going to go around a dauber that's what it is and I'm going to just give it a little color to make it look antique -y, like the box and then whatever's left on here, I'm going to go around and give it some more character. Okay, so, and then I went ahead and put four of the um, dimensionals. So, we can go ahead and put that on right now. straighten it up a little. Okay. Okay, that's the first step. Then, uh, the next one, I did the same thing. I put it through the Lacy Brocade embossing folder. I put a big square of uh, coordinations paper. You uh, probably saw that in the Christmas catalog. It's called Co uh, Coordinations Cardstock. And they, if you bought the early espresso um, and you have it then go ahead and use it right now it is not available to purchase but if you use a piece of early espresso and just do the same thing uh, and do what I'm going to do you will get almost the same effect but what I'm going to do because it is a textured paper and it's designed for uh, uh, sanding and, and to get the, uh, the color underneath to come through you might not get it quite as bright as with regular cardstock, but it, it will still be beautiful. So you just peel some of this paper off to get an antique look. And this is our new sanding system. It comes with uh, several refills. And you can put some on the side and um, It'll last you a long time. Okay, so there is uh, the sanded early espresso. Okay, so I've also put my dimensionals on that, and I'm going to peel those off. I'm trying to save some time here. I'm going to make it the same direction as. Oh, I better leave that out. Okay, so now the flower. I'm going to show you how to make the flower. Okay, so on the flower, I used floral frames. And the one I used was the next to the smallest, right in the middle there. Okay, and then I took first edition, first edition. Uh, it looks like newspaper print. It's our designer series paper. And I cut six little squares 
and then I lined all six up together and all six will cut in your big shot together and then you just poke them out and the next thing I did was just give it a little more edging with the early espresso and the dauber I love this look okay and then you're going to take all six sheets and you're going to do this okay so then after you've got all six I did a couple here to show you I'm not going to do all six but um, you open it up and it's all wrinkled and it's supposed to be old looking and you will take your paper piercer and you will pierce this is what it's going to look like I pierced in the center of each piece of paper and I've got all six on here and they've all been um, edged with the early espresso so then I'm going to take some antique brass and I'm going to choose this one I'm going to pull this rub it back and forth hold it tight push it in now this is the hard part let's see okay I see it there it is okay so then you open that up and then I'm going to take each layer and pull it up towards the bread layer by layer and squeeze it And then the bottom one, I'll probably just leave the way it is. Okay. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take a couple more dimensionals. The bottom is flat, so you can go ahead and just put a couple in there. Get your box. Put it right in the middle and then pull your flower up. I think this is gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to take our bow, or no, the ribbon, and then make a little knot. I made just a knot, um, and then this knot will just slide right up. And I put sticky tape on the back so it doesn't leave the box. It's loose enough so that it'll go right back over. Okay. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and just trim it up. And there you have it. I just love this box and I want to uh, thank Mary Fish uh, I did see this on her site uh, she decorated them a little differently but she's um, she's the one that inspired me to use this paper and uh, her site is stampinpretty.com I think <laughs> I'll check that for you and I'll put that on my blog uh, here are the beautiful boxes and I thank you for coming uh, to watch my second series and I will see you next Saturday thank you <laughs>